what God cannot do does not exist. I am that woman that God showed mercy. Okay, so I've been looking, trying to conceive for over 12 years. Getting pregnant has been so difficult. We've been trying, when I was in Nigeria, I'm calling from California, but when I was in Nigeria, you know, we visited different hospitals, but all to no avail. I did different treatment just to conceive. It never came to pass and then I gave up. I was like, I was done trying to consider whenever it's time God will give me, give, give me a baby. Then we came to America. I've been here and since I've been in America, I did not see no doctor. I was not on any medication, nothing. Pastor Jerry prophesied one, um, one, uh, that was in June. Why Pastor Jerry was praying. He said, if you're pregnant, put your hand on your stomach. And then I did that with faith. I just put my hand on my stomach. I wasn't pregnant. I just put my hand on my stomach. And then Pastor Jerry said again that some people, that he sees some people put their hand on their stomach and they are not pregnant. That for this you have done, carry your baby. And then I screamed. I shouted. I said, Amen. It's me. So I claimed it. I claimed that prophecy that day. I labor for you to know that the Lord saw you. I said, Pregnant women should lay their hands on your belly. Some people who were not pregnant, you also laid your own heart out of faith. Ikataya. The Lord saw you. The Lord saw you. The Lord said, Let it be an abomination unto me if I do not honor my name in your life. If I do not honor my name in your life for doing this, for doing this, Shakata, let the coming weeks, let the coming weeks hand you over your baby. After that prophecy, I missed my period and I did a test and I was pregnant. Pastor Jerry, I just want to say thank you so much. I got pregnant after 12, I got pregnant after 12 years and God bless me with a baby boy. God bless me with a baby boy after 12 years. I have a daughter who is 12. And during the pregnancy, while I was pregnant, you know, during my antenatal period, they told me that uh, they saw something in my son, in my baby's heart, you know, that his heart was open. Immediately, his the doctor said that I rejected that negativity because I will never service negativity with my money so i rejected every form of negativity i told myself that god gave me this pregnancy without me going to see any doctor or anything so therefore my testimony must be complete the next month i came back for another test again for them to check the baby's heart and then he said oh daddy what he saw is closed that but they're going to check again after i have the baby i just smiled in my heart because i know that my god has taken absolute control over the situation and i came out strong healthy and my baby is healthy lord i want to say thank you pastor jerry here is my baby boy my sweet boy handsome boy my nsppd baby Pastor Jerry, look at your son. Look at my baby. Look at my baby boy, Pastor. Look at my baby boy that God gave to me. This is my daughter. She's 12. We want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor Jerry, thank you so much. God bless you. The oil on your head will never run dry. And I want to use medium to say to other people seeking for the foot of the womb, just keep praying god is on this altar keep praying the god that did for me and for other women here will do for everybody what god cannot do does not exist thank you pastor thank you